Hey guys, so uh, in this video, I'll show you how to make crisp vocals in Logic Pro. Um, so I made a bus and I basically saved it as a preset. Um, so I'll show you what the song sounds like before and after the uh, crisp bus comes on. So here it is with it off. This is a song that I mixed for my friend. I was sitting on you all last night. I was talking all crazy You were looking like just my type Somebody I could call baby I know you want me put it down wanna, wanna. Okay, so you get it? The vocal I thought sounded kind of dull So I wanted to make it more crispy I tried putting an EQ on the actual channel strip that the vocal lives on And it just wasn't getting there So uh, typically when this happens I make a bus and I set it up to basically do it parallel. So um, here's what it sounds like with the bus. I was sitting on you all last night. I was talking all crazy. You were looking like just my type. Somebody I could call baby. So you can see it gets a little bit crispier. I dialed it in uh, a good amount, but not completely. Um, so I'll show you what it sounds like completely, so you can really hear it. I was sitting on you all last night. I was talking all crazy. So you can hear it gets really crispy really fast. Um, so I kept it around 2.1, but let's go into the bus. So I set up a bus, go on a uh, five, and then I rolled off all the bottom. So up to 10,400, and then I boosted a little at the top end. Just I'm um, accentuating the highs, so the uh, I guess kind of the sizzle kind of high end. Um, everything else comes off. Sometimes if you parallel EQ or do anything in parallel and you leave it completely the same, um, if you don't edit it, like roll off all the bottom end or roll off all the top end, you're gonna get some weird like phase issues. So um, in this, I just want to focus on the top end. So roll off all the bottom compressor. Here, I'll show you what it's doing. I was sitting on you all last night. I was talking all crazy. So you can see, um, it's really just flattening out the transients. Um, so yeah, I just don't want any like crazy spikes or anything. I just want to kind of sit in the back. Deesser. I mean, it got really like sharp. Here, I'll show you without it. I was sitting on you all last night. I was talking all crazy. It kind of just takes out some of the uh, high, like kind of like sharp sound to the vocal. Um, we're gonna be we're boosting up so much of the high end that we need to like compress the top end a little bit. So that's where the deesser comes in. Um, the limiter that's totally flattening out the sound. So I'll show you that. I was sitting on you all last night. I was talking all crazy. You were looking like just my type. Somebody. So I'm cutting off the peaks pretty much completely. You can see the yellow part is getting chopped. For echo, basically, this is just a little small detail uh, to help the notes ring out a little I was longer. sitting on you all last night. I was talking all crazy. You were looking like just my type. You could barely hear it. It's more just like an airy kind of vibe thing than anything else. But um, yeah, that's it. So um, I'll make the uh, vocal bus available in the description. Uh, basically, I just saved it as Chris Vocals. So you just install it into your own Logic Pro and just find it below in the description. You'll be able to get it yourself.